What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an eFootball 2024 improvements I want to see video. So we're going to kick off straight away and get into it, right? I'm going to keep this video very thorough, but also touch on a lot of things that people have been talking about. And personally, for me, having played hundreds of hours of eFootball, I want a lot of these things changed, right? So first up is passing and to remove the 180 passes. So what do I mean about 180 passes? Well, you're going to see an example right here. We're out on the wide area. We're Look at this pass here. Now, this is against the AI, right? Where I was trying to get a couple of clips. We do score out of it. But when you rewind it back, right? Look at the position that I'm in here. It's kind of like a pivot. This isn't a bad example of it, but it's kind of an example of the me mechanism behind it to show you. Now, when it goes against you online, it's a different story. And when it looks worse like this, it's really, really frustrating. I mean, that's like a Michael Jackson kind of pivot move. And he's just nowhere near taking a pass there. And a lot of the time with these passes, as you've probably found yourself from playing online, they always find the target. I mean, it just seems to be programmed in that they find the target. There's no skill involved in it. It's literally just smashing the button through. Now, this is my mistake here. When you look back and you might be thinking, okay, this is a bad pass. Obviously, I'm trying to pass it into middle, but I overcook it. That's fine. I don't have an issue with that when he first time passes it here, but it's more for these type of passes that you want build up, right? These, This is the pass and there is some good with the bad but them 360, 180, whatever you want to call them passes need to change, lads. They're they're so annoying, so frustrating. And more games like this, more goals like this where you kind of create space and use the players you have at your disposal is what we want. Next up is defensive AI. Now, this is going to be the most thorough one where we talk about this because this is a huge issue and a huge factor apart from connection. It's probably the biggest one, right? Which we'll get to connection and servers in a minute. Look at this for a crazy, crazy, crazy interception from the defensive AI, okay? Even when I try to close it down, it's just a ridiculous contextual block that my opponent has no clue what's happening here. Yes, he's probably holding the button matchup, but it's the same when you see it offline. You'll see a lot of these crazy blocks on the line, interceptions. The AI defensive needs to be toned down. I would say, based on these clips, I would say about 50%, lads. Make the defending more manual. I know you're going to have the argument that people don't want to learn 20, 30 hours worth of defending and be able to control space defensively. But when you see stuff like this happening, it's very disheartening. I mean, especially these games are offline, but online, this can be very frustrating. And you'll see clip after clip after clip where you rip somebody apart, absolutely rip them apart. And it's basically just the ultimate hand holding for people that don't know how to defend or don't want to know how to defend or don't want to learn how to defend. You'll see there, he obviously makes the interception manually, but the defensive AI actually gets him into position himself. It's not him controlling that space, right? Next up, we do have a little bit of, well, I would say that this is a big issue, right? The refs in general, the collisions and the shoulder charge more specifically that we're going to be talking about, right? So I'm going to be playing a couple of games here where you see, right? Sometimes the shoulder charge kicks in when you hold matchup and there's a bit of lag as here, right? I didn't mean to do shoulder charge there, but the AI do this the whole time, man. They are cheaters, man. They do this the whole time. You'll see time and time and time again. And top level players, especially Division 1 and Division 2 players online, use this to their advantage. Um, and it has become a bit of an issue since the last patch as well. Now, they do call it every now and again, you can see there. But oftentimes they just leave it go, the refs leave it go. And when you actually concede a goal like this, it's very frustrating, right? You can see their shoulder charge pushes me out of the way. Um, now, online as well, they do call it, as I said, there can be certain instances there. This is a clip, right? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that guy meant a shoulder charge there or do you think he was trying to hold matchup? Because I know from playing the game enough, I think he was definitely trying to hold matchup, L2. And he had the button mapped to that. Because um, that happened to me earlier in the clips as well. But also tied into this, this is kind of the same thing really, but it's connection and servers, right? A lot of the time when people see crazy stuff happening, they're talking about, oh, you know, this is silly, this is stupid, it's momentum, it's all this, right? A lot of the time, it can be as simple as just having a bad connection. And the player freezes are a big example of this. If you start noticing a lot of player freezes and input delay and stuff like that, it's usually kind of like bad connection. Now, I don't mean lag. Lag is different. Lag is noticeable where you'll see, you know, speed up, you'll see spikes, you'll see stuff like that. But crazy stuff starts to happen when you have a bad connection between you and your opponent or multiple opponents. As you can see here, a manual goalkeeper, you switch to manual goalkeeper and it takes you off the manual goalkeeper. Again here, 
you know, it's very hard to get control of the ball. It's very chaotic. It's very carnage and it's very hard to keep the ball. Now, this also works towards your favor as well. You can see the slowdown there. I think this guy had a bad connection. That's obviously built in as well. We'll get into that in another video. But usually when you have a bad connection, the game, the ball just passes you by. There's nothing you can really do. And it, it's extra hard to beat opponents with it. You can still win games. And that brings us on to kind of our last point, which is match flow and space creation. So I've heard a lot of people talk about dribbling and say that, you know, dribbling is non-existent in this game. I actually think that the dribbling is quite nice in it now with the current patch. You can do some nice moves like this, but it's very, very, very slight touches and knowing when to stop start. The best one is to stop and then burst past. That's the best way to do the dribbling in the game. You don't need to do massive skills. Yes, you can throw in the odd skill here or there. You'll see in a second. But it's all about little flicks of the right stick and hoping that your opponent is transitioning in defense because the defense is a little bit more unresponsive compared to offensive play but you can score some beautiful goals when the game flows and this is what the game should be more about yes you're going to have defensive problems with the game yes you're going to have games where it absolutely breaks your heart and it makes you know it, it just screws you right when you're trying to clear the ball you just can't clear the ball you will get games like that but a lot of that is down to connection and input delay between you and the server. Yes, there does be some stuff that happens as well. If you want a part two of this video where I talk about some other is issues with it. But I think that these five, from a gameplay point of view, these are the biggest five things. You know, the space creation, the connection, the shoulder charges, the refs, the collisions. When the game flows, as you see here, there is a nice variety of number one AI defensive help, such as the goalkeeper there or manual goalkeeping. as That is a fantastic save. And also, you know, some manual touches. Like, this is kind of when the game flows at its best. Slide tackle from my opponent. He's a bit unlucky there, but we get back, get the ball at Messi out in a wide position. Little trick, cut inside, do what Messi does best. He can't get the ball back. But then you also have the good with the bad, and the bad is here, where stuff like this happens. And this is fine when it's happening in co-op and offline. You can get away with it. But if you're losing Division 1 matches to stuff like this, it can be extremely frustrating, right? So let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you want me to focus on anything else. I have so many clips in here. It was literally impossible to, to pick five things, but I wanted to limit it to five Next up, we will have a video where I talk about five things I want to see improved modes-wise, so non-gameplay. But if you want me to cover some more gameplay stuff, let me know what you guys think, and I will be back very soon. Peace.